What is up and welcome back to another video. Today we have perfect vocal delay. So if you haven't watched my last two videos, you should definitely go check those out. Um, I do the top three plugins for EQ and compression. Uh, that link just popped up. Go click it because they're awesome. And we're kind of just moving along, just mixing the simple acoustic song uh, with, with vocal. Um, we just did a live take, just no click, just kind of played through, and it was a really good performance. So today we're doing perfect vocal delay. I'm going to show you the best way to do delay inside of GarageBand that's not going to clutter your session. It's going to make it really easy to mix and it's going to allow you to easily add reverb with your delays to just create some more depth basically. All right. So before we get into that, I get so many emails almost every single day about how to EQ vocals, what's the best way to use compression for vocals, what settings am I looking for, what is saturation, and I kind of compiled all that stuff and created a free ultimate vocal preset bundle for you that you can load in GarageBand and even load in to Logic, put these on your vocals and make them sound amazing. All you gotta do is go to www.cellardoorsound.co slash free presets. And you come to this page, just fill it out. We've got over 30 custom vocal presets, um, EQ, compression, saturation, super good stuff. And then it brings you to a download page, and there's a free training here that just kind of walks you through how to put these into your computer so you can easily access them. And then it goes into a little training on what you're looking for with compression, what you're looking for with EQ, and, and how to effectively add some distortion and saturation just to make your vocals... A little more interesting and have depth and and really truly just bring out the emotion overall in your vocals all right so now that we got through all that let's take a listen to where we are so far with this track and my good friend gideon dunn you can find him tan home you'll find the right man all that'll fix it for you yeah. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Awesome. So this sounds really great. I typically try to get a, a great vocal sound before I add a bunch of effects because I feel like effects can kind of trick you into thinking that it sounds better than it actually does. And you can kind of get lost a little bit. So just to run you through what we got going on here from the last couple of videos, we have a really awesome compressor here just kind of like a mastering compressor, just doing some light compression. We have some flavor. This is just adding some tone and um, I just basically just a little bit of saturation on the vocal. And then we've got uh, this EQ, which is kind of just cleaning up his vocal, a uh, little dynamic EQ. And then my favorite is this bad boy, man, Fuse Audio Labs. This thing is really bringing it to another level and making it sound more analog style versus just all the digital stuff that we have going on. All right, cool. So let's jump into this. So in GarageBand, as you probably know, adding effects is a little bit weird. You basically, on the track, come down here and you turn up this master echo or master reverb. And and you can go here and uh, and set the settings and, you know, I don't know. It To me, there's just not a lot you can do with reverb and delay inside of GarageBand. You're just kind of limited to whatever they have. And sometimes it's just not right for the song. And and I like to be able to truly mix what I have um, with the song instead of kind of going through these menus and, and trying to figure out how to do the delay. So we're going to make this really simple for you and easy to understand and hopefully will make you have some better mixes. All right, here we go. So we're going to go to the bottom of our vocal plugin chain here. going to add a new plugin. And we're going to go to Audio Units, Valhalla DSP. And this is the Valhalla Freak. Freak Echo. I call it the Freak Echo because it's just better. Uh, this delay just sounds really cool. You can get some out of this world sounds uh, definitely on, on some electric guitar and stuff. Like this thing is crazy and it's completely free. So I'll link to this plugin where you can get the free download. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just love the sound of this and it's free. So why not go grab it? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up a slapback delay. I love having slapbacks and all it is is just a really fast delay. Uh, just almost like you're in a room and it's bouncing off the wall. And I don't make this super present in the mix, but it just adds such a cool depth once you start adding a bunch of effects. So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep this mix knob here at 50%. I'm going to type in, in this milliseconds, 133. That's my favorite time for slapback. 
And then what we're going to do is just kind of push play. And I'm going to mess with maybe the feedback settings a little bit, how many delays we have, uh, and just kind of see where we are as far as the sound of this. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Mm -hmm. Did you have to pay that fine? Oh, you were dodging all the time. Are you still dizzy? Yeah. Awesome. So you can hear when it first started, we had this feedback at 50%, and it was just delaying all over the place. It has a, kind of a crazy sound, but I lowered the feedback and the mix percentage a little bit just to just so I could hear what's actually happening. And it's in a really good spot. So, so this is pretty much our, our delay setting for this slapback. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a delay track so that we can only affect this delay inside of GarageBand and the vocal independently so that I don't have to, let's just say this is closed and I want to change the delay slightly. I'd have to click this, go to my Valhalla, and then change the mix percentage. We're going to make that a little bit easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right-click here on your vocal track. We're going to go to new track with duplicate settings. We're going to name this, if I got it, okay. We're going to name this uh, slap del, slap delay. And then I'm going to option, click, and drag my vocal waveform here onto this track. So now I have basically two versions. I'm going to go back to my vocal one, and we are going to just turn off that delay. We're going to go to the slap del and open up the delay here, and we are going to turn our mix knob all the way to 100%. So what we're doing here is basically saying that on this vocal track, which is our delay track, we want to only hear the delay. So we are 100% delay. There's no dry vocal whatsoever. And then we turned off our delay on our vocal one track so that there's it's just dry, right? So now it allows us to truly mix this. Now my delay is just on this slider. So if I want more delay, I turn it up. If I want less delay, I turn it down, which is really cool versus just going through menus and trying to figure out where your delay is. All right, so let's listen to this in the mix. I'm gonna push play and then slowly bring up the slider to where I just think it's kind of sitting nice. You didn't find a tan hole, you find the right man, all that will fix it for you. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm trying to keep it kind of subtle because I know I'm going to add another delay. I know I'm going to add reverb. Um, so it's in a good spot there. Okay, cool. So let's mute this guy real quick, and we're going to add another delay. So we're going to open up our Valhalla again. Okay. So this time what I'm going to do is I kind of tapped out our tempo here at 106. So I'm going to go to this delay sync and we're going to change this to eighth notes. All right. So this is going to change our delay from, from being 133 milliseconds and it's going to go to actual eighth notes within the song. And we're just going to listen to how this sounds. All right, so this is kind of a cool little spot here. Now, the beautiful thing about this plugin is that it has this shift, which you can shift the left and the right just a little bit to kind of turn it into this really nice stereo delay. So you'll hear it as I push play and, and move this knob up. All right, so that seems like it's in a pretty sweet spot. It went from a mono, just straight down the middle delay, to kind of this cool, oscillating stereo delay, which is really nice. Um, and another great thing about this plugin is it comes, the default settings come with this low cut at 200 hertz, which is kind of cutting all the lows out and a high cut at 5K, which is all the highs. And it, it really just makes the vocal be able to be out front and every all the delays and effects kind of just push in the back. So now what we're gonna do is the same thing we did with our slap delay. I'm gonna right click my vocal. We're going to go to new track with duplicate settings. I'm gonna name this um, eighth del. And then we're gonna option click to bring our waveform down here, okay? So on my vocal one, 
we're just going to turn off this plugin again. Turn it off. And then my eighth note delay, which, yeah, it's the one that we have open. Again, we're going to turn this to 100%. So now, same thing, we have just our delay happening on this track, just our slap happening on this track, and then our dry vocal, which is, which is really nice. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn on our slap delay so that I can kind of get uh, a level for both of them. I'm gonna push play and slowly move this up to where I feel like it's in a good spot. You can find them tan home, you'll find the right man, all that'll fix it for you. Yeah. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Awesome. So that's in a pretty cool spot, and it's it's pretty below the vocal, but it just kind of brings out just this depth and uh, makes him sound like he's a, in a really interesting room, which is really cool. So let's really quick here without our delays that we did. This is just dry vocal. You can find him tan home. You'll find the right man. All that'll fix it for you. Yeah. All right, and let's turn on our delays. You can find them tan home, you'll find the right man, all that'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm. Sweet. So, really cool spot. So, the beauty of all of this, and what's so cool about it, is not only can I mix each individual effect, what we can do is I can go to our vocal, let's so our, solo our vocal. And I'm going to go down and add a little bit of just the stock reverb just to give you an idea of what we can do here. So I'm going to push play and bring up this reverb slider to I think it's in a good spot here. You can find them tan home, you'll find the right man, all that'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. You have to pay that fine. Only you were dodging. All right, cool. So that's in a cool spot. Now this eighth delay is a little dry to me. So I'm going to add, I'm going to put some reverb on this delay just to make it seem a little bit more natural and like it like it sits in the right spot here. You didn't find Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Super cool spot <laughs> that this is in all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the video. What it's, it's very simple. All you really do is pick any delay you want, get the setting in a decent spot just on your vocal track, and then duplicate your tracks and change the mix to 100%, and it kind of allows you to really start to mix your song so that once you create all these effects and you have a full band mix, you can really step outside the box a little bit and push play and just start playing with faders without having to be diving into plugins and um, it just honestly for me makes me have a cleaner mix because I'm just I'm just focused on level at this point like I'm trying to just find that perfect little level and if we would have had the delay on this vocal and did a slap back and then a eighth note delay we it wouldn't work because we'd have a slap in the beginning and then that slap would be triggering an eighth note delay and then that eighth note delay would be triggering all the reverb and it'd just be too much. So with this way, we can really create a lot more depth uh, within this track, which is awesome. So let's real quick just see what we've done today. I'm gonna mute our delay and then I'm also going to turn off our reverb so we can just hear, this is before we started the video. You didn't find them tan home, you'll find the right man, all that'll fix it for you. Yeah. All right, and now let's turn on our reverb and our delay. You can find them tan home, you'll find the right man, all that'll fix it for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you shopping anywhere home? Change the color of your hair. Are you still dizzy? Dizzy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, sounds so good. I love this guy's just such a good singer. He's a really great guitar player, but hope you enjoyed that video um, Definitely go and grab this delay and just play with it um, and try this on your own vocals I, I know you're gonna love it. It's just fun. It turns it turns mixing into a lot of fun versus kind of just running through all, all kinds of plugins and getting a little bit lost so so definitely go try that and of course if you have not yet go grab my ultimate vocal preset bundle 
uh, over 30 presets for EQ, compression, saturation, and it's completely free for you. Just go to celladorsound.co slash free presets. You'll come to this little dialogue, whatever, fill it out, and then here it is. You get the downloads, you get a free training video that shows you how to put them in GarageBand, how to put them in Logic, and I walk through just what you're doing with EQ, what you're looking for, what you're looking for with compression and saturation, and how to get your vocals to you know sound like they were recorded in a legit pro facility, which is super fun. So anyway, go grab that, and thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate that you're here and wanting to learn more about sound and and how to make your music sound better so that you can get it out to your fans and your friends and your family. Uh, that's just what it's all about. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Peace.